hi everybody. I didn't find any video how to replace the throttle cable on the Fiesta 2000 1.4 petrol. So I try to make a video. I try to make a video and show it with a few details. Let's go inside the car. Hello guys, I tried to show you how to replace the throttle cable on a Fiesta 1.4 petrol 2000 year. Right down here where the gas pedal is, you have the end of the cable, just up there. And it doesn't go back to idle position. So let's look at it outside. So if you look at under the hood, it comes out from the cabin under the water tank. This cable will be that. All the way down here and it hooks on a tiny part down there you can see it here, that's the rubber ring Right. let's take this one off first like this So when this one comes out, you can release this by just hold it up and tie it up. So finally just come out, came out from the small hook. At first I could took off this ring and it, this rubber stayed on it, so I took off separately, but that's it. So when it comes out, bend this one up, pull outside. This cable you can remove one clip here and just goes underneath right all these should come out right the next part here is another clip yeah this small metal comes out it's like a frame holds it Just do carefully, I have got a broken cable and all the small metal parts just came through on it. You can see it here. Right. Okay, I just came inside again and what I shown at first at the beginning, there is a small plastic end of the cable that's up on the pedal. You can see where is the open part of the pedal, so you should plug, push this one up way, and it goes through on the small gap. And you can release this end, and all of them goes out from the body up there. Where this small rubber hazing holds it in the right place. So. Let's go outside now. Next step, come to the front, 
take off this one screw because we need more space so we have to remove or just release the water tank because all oh, this cable goes into the body right under this water tank so we need to move and pull out this one We have got more space now because we took off the screw from the end of the water tank. Okay, so here we are. When, if you pull a little bit on this pink something, it comes out from the rubber. If you, the, there is a yellow rubber. If you push that together, it comes out from the body. Right, I need another tool. Push these together. I have to take off the camera. I can't see. Right. I used a screwdriver to take this rubber off. The way I can show. Just push down here. Push down into the gap between the yellow rubber and the body, and it it comes out. Push it hardly. Right, uh, I think it should come through all of it now. Let's see how it comes. Next step, go inside again. You can see the end of the cable there, and the black rubber goes out first, and after you can push through the yellow end of the cable. You need a screwdriver to push the black one through. Okay, it's outside, and this one should go through. On the hole. Brilliant. And it's out. So let's continue with the video with the new cable and how to put back all of the new one. So I just realized I have a broken cable. You can check it definitely. When you pull the cover of the cable, all the broken parts, I mean part of the cable, comes up on a cable. It's only a few small things holds this cable because more than a half just jammed on the end when I pulled the cover. Hold away. So that's a 1.4 Ford Fiesta year 2000. This is how it looks. Okay, I have got the new cable here, which comes from the Ford. When you want to put in the new cable, check this fixed metal here. You can put pull this out and plug on, on the new one. Check how many marks you have here and put on the same position on the new one and it keeps on the right place. Another end. Here it comes. It looks a bit different but should go on the same place on the same hook. The new one. I will add some oil on it just to make sure it's working good. Don't forget to put back this screw here. If you have the rubber in the right place back on the body. 
and another thing just don't forget to put back this one on the same position count how many marks you have here and push it firmly through on the cable it holds like this right on the cable one clip holds the cover here another one here and that's the last step on the another end of the cable which goes down to down to that hook and it will sit on this part to put back the new one maybe you need to remove the battery from here and there just to make more space for your hands if you want to push through this rubber on that hook down there because there is no near space so the battery is out take these three screws off you have got much bigger space without the plastic battery holder right finally it went to the right place if you have got more space like this now you can put this back easily right where we are here we are down you can see this one goes on the old hook we just have to set this tight up should be alright. Right. Put back the battery holder. When you disconnect the battery, just make sure you have got the code for your audio device, CD player or radio, whatever. So when you have got all these in the right place, this metal if you remove it you can push the cable in and it release on the throttle cable if you pull these out and check in the hole when you push this one back you should push back between the rubbers inside if you pull this out push that one in it tights up the cable and it has no idle position on the pedal when you push the pedal inside you can feel it. It has idle position or it has no. So one more check on the cable is this one where the black plastic sits on the metal and you have the new one in. Make sure it's not only sit on it you have to twist that's the that's the way when you push through because the black bottom of this plastic is a rectangle it goes through on the hole and you have to twist on it to keep it in the right place and it doesn't come up so twist about 90 degrees backwards back clock anti-clockwise way so this way and it should be and stay on the right place I tightened up the cable if I'm, comes back here and push this still has idle small idle position but it's tight enough now for me Thanks for watching, if you liked the video or it was helpful for you, just share it. See you later guys.